In this video, you'll learn all about creating columns in Pandas. We'll take a look at columns that require text as well as columns that use math to be able to calculate new columns. Let's get started. If you're new to this Pandas tutorial series, check out the other videos which I'll link to right up here. Okay, let's write some code. I've already imported Pandas here using the alias pd. Then I've created a new data frame using the from dict method. Let's take a look at what this data frame looks like by printing it out. We can see that we have a column for first and last name, as well as an age column and a height and centimeters column. Now, one of the easiest ways to create a new column in Pandas is simply to assign a new string or value directly to that column. Now you may recognize these characters from the show Westworld. We may want to create a new column that belongs to the data frame that identifies these characters as being part of that show. The way we can do this is by writing df show equals Westworld. When we do this and print it out again, we can see that we've inserted a brand new column here that identifies each of the records within the data frame as belonging to the show Westworld. Now, what if you didn't want to create a column that simply contains the exact same value for every record? You can do this by passing in an array or a list that contains the exact same number of records as there are records within the data frame. So for example, if we wanted to create a new column that contains the integers one through four, because we have four records within our data frame, you could write df number equals, and we're gonna pass in a list here. So we'll write one, two, three, and four. Now when we run this, we can see that we've appended a new column at the very end called number with the values from one through four. There may be times when you want to use information that's available within the data frame to calculate a new column. For example, we have the height in centimeters, but what if you only understand height in inches or feet in inches? We can easily turn our height in centimeters column into a height in inches column by using math. Specifically, we can divide the height in centimeters by 2.54 to calculate the height in inches. So to do this, we'll write df, height, inches, and then we'll write df, and now we'll access the height and centimeter columns, and we'll divide it directly by 2.54. Now when we run this, we can see that we have a new column that's been created here that has the height in inches based on the height and centimeters column. Similar to using addition and subtraction and dividing by a single value, we can also use math to act on two different numerical columns. For example, if we wanted to take this age column and add this number column, we can do this by writing the code that we'll explain in just a second. So we'll want to call this column, say, df number two, and then we'll write df age plus df number. So let's see what this looks like. We can see that here, the number two is 32, which is the sum of 31 and one. Similarly, 40 plus two is 42. This also works with addition, multiplication, and any of the other operators available within Pandas. Let's take a look at subtracting these two values. So we can call this column subtract, and we'll write df age minus df number. Now when we run this and print out the data frame, we can see here that 30 is the difference between 31 and one. Similarly, 40 minus two is 38. Now, you may not always wanna work with number columns. If we wanted to assign different string values to columns, we can also say, for example, assign the gender to each character. To do this, we can write df gender equals, and then again, we'll pass in a list. So we'll write female, female, male, and female. Now when we take a look at this, we can see again that the new column has been entered with the order of the list values that we've passed through. Keep in mind again that the length of the list has to equal the length of the data frame, otherwise you have to include blank values here. Now one of the really helpful features is the ability to concatenate different columns. What I mean by this is you're able to combine the string or the values in different columns together. So we can see here that we have a column that contains the first name as well as the last name. What if we just wanted a column that contained the person's full name? 
we could write df name equals df first name and then we're going to include a space string here and then we'll write df last name so when we run this now we can see here that we've used the information that's contained in the first name column as well as in the last name column to create a single column here. Now, what if you were working with a data frame where you only had the name column, but you wanted to be able to split it into two columns where you have the first name and the last name? Pandas comes packaged with a very helpful string method that allows you to split columns based on a different delimiter. So in this case, the two different strings here are delimited by a space, meaning we can use the space to be able to break that single string into multiple strings. So to do this, let's write df name, and then we'll use the string accessor, and then we'll write split. And now we'll include, again, the space here as the identifier, and let's see what this looks like. We can see here that it's pulled out a series object here where each item has been split into a list containing different strings based on the original item delimited by spaces. Now, what if we wanted to create this without generating a list? We could write the exact same thing we had here, but pass in expand equals true. Now this creates a data frame object where the first column is the first name and the second column is the last name. Now, what if we wanted to pass this into a new data frame? Now, let's try this by calling the column names. We can again use df name.str.split. We'll delimit it by a space, and we'll include expand equals true. When we run this, we can see that we get a very long error message. Let's take a look at the very final error that we get here we can see that the wrong number of items has been passed the and that the placement implies that only one item exists. We know from the data frame up here that two columns should be created. This also means that we actually need to pass in two columns. So what we can do, instead of writing df and simply names, is we can write in double square brackets first name two and last name two. Now when we run this, we can see that we've successfully split the name column into the first name two column and the last name two column. Okay, so you've learned quite a bit in this video. You've learned how to create new columns using text, how to use text to create new columns by splitting and combining text, as well as how to use math in order to calculate new columns either by adding or subtracting columns or multiplying and dividing by a single digit. As an extra challenge, how would you be able to use the range function to emulate the example where we added the numbers 1 through 4 as a separate column in the data frame? Let me know in the comments how you would do this. If you have any questions about today's video, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, be sure to hit the like button and click subscribe and then hit the little bell icon to be notified of when I release new videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.